Alright, I'm done with League for the night. You only played one game today. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm done with League for now. You like Runeterra OP? No, I'm gonna, after the match today, I'm gonna go read. Mm, what are you reading? Uh, trying to get back into reading, so I'm reading, uh, rereading the Artemis file series just to mm. actually. Yeah, you know. Brian, are you talking to me? Yeah, ready, <laughs> ready in pro, for pro draft really means something different from what I understood it. Because both teams typed it in and we're just sitting here. <laughs> there, we there we go. There we go. <laughs> Complain about it and you shall receive, Brian. Wait, wait, Anna, Anna got this emote already? What? She did. How the hell do you get the emote? Which one? The S? Mm hmm. Oh, I got that. Uh, you just have to get an S on your champion, is how I got it. Mm. I don't know how many times. There must be, I'm assuming like 10 or 5 times. I think I got an S on Kindred and then I ended up getting it. Alright, Mordekaiser, Oriana, Bands, then Zillion, Bard. Bard? Bird. No. Bird? I mean, Wired's been saying that he's gonna play mid. Uh, mid Bard, but. I don't believe it. Is it Teddy? No. It's Adam. Adam? my post. I saw your shit post. <laughs> Just so much. <laughs> Suck me off, yeah. Okay, what's with the emotes? I'm gonna finish Final Fantasy IX tonight. Ooh. You're gonna actually finish? Dude, you've been playing that game like hardcore, what the fuck? Yeah. He did this is what Elena always does. We're overpowered AF, and nothing can stop us. What the fuck? <laughs> Suck me off. <laughs> what? Hello? It's a good detail shit posting, bro. This is a family stream. Oh. Jinx or Ezreal? I played Tristana once. I think it was. I think it was Tristana. Yeah, first game. Oh, oh and that was the only win, right? Well, like... Yeah, Anna. Anna, so do they ban the Thresh here? Thresh Prince?
Thresh Prince of, of Bel Air. Thresh Prince of. Where is he in the. Where is he at? Shadow Isles? Mm, no. It's too long. Thresh Prince of. There's a, there's a parody song somewhere out there, actually. Just one. One parody song. <laughs> they lock in the Malphite. Part? If they lock in Malphite, it's probably a Malphite mid, no? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Echo. Huh. Doesn't seem like a very deep dive pick. Let's see. Orn. Orn. A lot of tankiness. Wait, who's deep dive mid laner? Wired. Wired on Echo mid? I'm excited. Let's see, boys. Time Anybody to get back else on the have trouble thinking of anybody other than Nick as deep dives mid laner? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't around for that season. The original deep. The deepest dive. All other dives pale in imitation. They went so deep they had to oh. go and whatever to win. They really did do that, huh? The redemption <laughs> tour. <laughs> no, Alright. All. Who are we feeling, boys? Mm. Feeling... Ooh, little Ash combo. That sounds nice. Yeah, uh, little Ash sounds really good, actually. I mean, AR's combo is a bit of a Frankenstein comp, but I don't know if it's... I don't think it's bad, necessarily. Like, their identity is okay. Malfi, Shivana, Sejuani, just fucking dive. Ask for dive. You can honestly Lulu ult the Shivana most of the time. If they get too tanky, you can just wait and let your Ash try to chew through their front line. Mm -hmm. I mean, but in that scenario, like, Deep Dive has a pretty easy time itemizing. Just buy a lot of armor. And, like, if you're Orange, Zack, and Leona, you can buy a lot of armor. Um, Maybe it's AP Shivana. Mm. Follow the wind know. doesn't. Then where does the Sejuani go? I mean, isn't Follow the Wind pretty known for his top Shivana anyway? He plays AD on top. Yeah, he he goes tankier. Yeah. But I mean, you know, if if there is an AP Shivana though, I mean, that is definitely a workaround for it. I just don't know where the Sejuani goes then. In LCK, we've seen Sejuani support, you know. It might have been a mispick, um, but. <laughs> it, it did it technically counted. happen. Yeah. They won with it. I mean, it's doable, but. I don't know. I, I can't imagine that'll happen. Probably what year was it people kept it. accidentally fucking locking in Tima? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, what? Didn't it happen twice? I don't know. <sighs> On the other hand, D-Dice comp is relatively cohesive, but... I mean, I don't know. The Jinx pick is kind of weird. I feel like you're gonna get yeah, pressured a lot in lane. Comes. Yeah, you're gonna get pressure a lot in lane, and then later in the game, you're a sitting tough kind of target. You don't really have, like, you have a lot of tanks, but you don't really have peel in this game. You just have Leona. Um, I don't know. Depends how well they play, I guess. This is just gonna be one of those games where the AD carries die at the beginning of every fight. That's the pizza. Huh. Well, that happens against AR. And an AD carry dies at the beginning of the fight with a Lulu still alive. They're pretty dunsies. Yeah, that, that's gonna be a weird scenario, but it might honestly just come down to execution here. By the way, in those LPL games last night, did that whole series go like that first game? It was a really good series. Back and forth. Both teams were pretty high level. Like, I don't know. Not bad. I couldn't stay awake from it. I was too weak. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> I might play this deck unless I want to see Tarek. Uh, okay. What happened? Oh, so I was hoping to restart. Client things. Topa's client broken. Is this real? What? This is for Star Wars Journey the Batuu. What the heck? You talking about that Sims? Yeah, what the heck? Is this real? <laughs> Wait, what? Sims expansion? Wait, what? what? Where? How have I not heard of this? I think it just got announced today, brother. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm looking at it. What the hell? The what? There's a uh, Sims, Star Wars Sims, Sims exam suspension. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. That's so random. Weird. Things you spend Disney money on. Who the fuck is Batu? You are forgetting that Star Wars is owned by Disney. Yeah. There's a Warhammer Age of Sigmar game with literally. I just don't. I don't even know what it's like. The theme Imagine is it's just playing cash Age of Sigmar. Dude, right? What the fuck? Imagine still being into Warhammer Fantasy. Bruden, they were like, you know what fantasy needs in it? Space Marines. And they did done do it. Nobody asked for this, but we're getting it. Dude. Like, War Priest are like what I would say the equivalent of like a space marine is, but like way, like way cooler. War priests are like the fucking shit. Got a holy power. They got huge hammers. They're not even like that buff. They're just fucking scary. Orcs are cooler. Orcs are cooler. What's cooler? Orcs, like Warhammer Fantasy nice. orcs. Than Space Marines. Anything is cooler than Space Marines. That's a fucking fact, especially if they're blue. I can't believe they did this. Hold on. I'm watching the Sims expansion trailer and it's fucking me up, boys. Yeah. Is that real? Apparently, it's also coming out in like a week or two. 
So, like, what's the goal here other than to watch famous Star Wars characters do woohoo? Alright. <laughs> I, I mean, is there any other thing to do? Cool items. I can't think of anything. Do they give you new pets? Is Sopa you... back on yet? I, they've oh, had robots for a while. Deep. Oh. I don't have two monitors anymore, so. They're in the. You can be a Jedi? What the fuck? Sims? You can see Rey and Kylo Ren? Yeah, I saw that and I'm like, generally confused. Dude, uh, how many times can you woohoo Adam Driver? None, ideally. Stop. Zero is the ideal number of times to woohoo Adam Driver. Oh. No, he doesn't. What he the doesn't fuck? Looks like somebody. No, what? Up into a locker room. Same right? hair, nose, height. I mean, the height's true. Your brother's very tall. I'm sorry, but was I the only one in that first movie we was in where he took his helmet off finally? I was like, ooh, put it back on. Yeah, it was kind uh, of, it was not the face I expected. Kind of Which is, like, fitting, because he's I mean, just a whiny oh, bitch yeah. instead of, you know, somebody being worth being yeah, afraid of. he just gets dumpstered on the whole series. Good. Good, 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 good. Oh. You wanna eat a bagel, Brian? God, I wanna eat a bagel. Dude, I just ate an oatmeal raisin cookie. Hell yeah, brother. I went to go get food and didn't Maybe end up getting any food and now the game is starting. I like this comment. Someone commented on the video, don't get me wrong, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. But you're telling me they can add in droids, spaceships, and all this other nonsense after six years? You still don't have cars, garage, or a decent range of skin tones. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, your two choices are white and actual you alien. The bagel? Hold up, hold yeah, up. Eventually. You've been foolish. Fuck woohooing Adam Driver, where it's really at. Woohooing Jar Jar. Okay, I'll take the bagel. <laughs> Look, I don't have anything against blueberry bagels, but I don't know how you go for a blueberry bagel when an onion bagel is right there. <sighs> What's up? What else has been released on Gamescom so far? Oh, dude, look at this sin, homie. Hold on. I'm sad. Already, I feel. I'm gonna put it in games. If it's woohooing Jar Jar, I'm gonna ban you from the server. That wasn't in the trailer. Thank goodness. Oh, it's on the Switch? Excuse me? Everything's on the switch. Okay. Wait, this comes out in November? What the fuck? Which one? Kino Hearts Melody of Memories. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna buy it. Try to I'm... justify whatever the fuck happened in three. Dude, I, I l like Kingdom no, Hearts. No, it's obviously their attempt to make a game or a Kingdom Hearts game on the Switch. But they chose a rhythm game. Why? I don't know. I don't like it either way. This it's is just a to cent. tide tide you over while they work on the Kingdom Hearts gotcha. God, that probably is happening, isn't it? I hate it. You know, we're it. getting that soccer game, Adam. Which one? The one that you posted. The soccer game, uh, Captain Tsubasa. Mm-hmm. No, like, I actually just don't give a shit about Captain Tsubasa. Mm. I legitimately think the art is very ugly. <laughs> I'm gonna be freaking lame tomorrow and play Madden. <laughs> Dude, the, my favorite game, my favorite soccer game, I will FIFA. post it. Uh, it's called World Cup on the original Nintendo. Oh, wow, you're old school. I wonder if there's ever a trailer for this. Uh, 
I'm a simp, I'm a but. This game's so old, there's not even like a trailer or anything for it. Too many games can't schedule, and there's nothing that I'm really interested in looking at. This is my favorite uh, soccer game. It's actually probably my favorite game in um, the Nintendo. I played this for ages. All that like phasing in and out, like where the screen blinks, that happens on every fucking game. It's fucking great. Game starting. Thank you. Thanks. What is the game? Deep Dive vs. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Naruto chan? Mm, don't this? like that. Dude. That's what KSB said in chat. Dude, surfing is like legit. I would, I would probably also simp. I'm not gonna be like, I'd rather be known for simping for seraphine than some of the other. That's people. why I'm I like, I'm openly admitting, I'm simping for seraphine. <laughs> Dude, when they open up that OnlyFans and co-sponsorship with Riot. Okay, I don't know. We're we'll going that far. Yes, we that's what y'all have been working on. <laughs> <laughs> That's been Brian's side project this entire time. This thirsty for the autos. Okay, we got some glacial malphites in the middle. Check limestone on Jinx, which is a comfort pick for him. You've heard, uh, we've seen him do really well on it. Also, people have been warned not to let him have it. Even got some malt powder, but it sounds like work. Should I just bought normal food instead of the candy? Now there's a thought. All the candy's gone now. So. The worst of all worlds. Yes. Made out of food or wow, candy. Wow, really sweet. Thank you, Leah. You know what else I want that I haven't had in months and months? Wingstop. Is that potential or...? I mean, there is one down the road, but I don't have a car right now. Uh, no? Hello? Wingstop is still doing the all-in bundle. Uh... I might get Wingstop tomorrow at this point. I may or may not have gotten three Buffalo Wild Wings as a result of our New LCS sponsor. The downside of that is you have to eat Buffalo Wild Wings. What <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings? What the <laughs> fuck, Jenny? I mean, I mean, I like wings. I mean, I agree I, with Elena. I mean, I agree. Yeah. But look, here, if if it, the option is between no wings and Buffalo Wild Wings, I'll take Buffalo Wild Wings. I would yeah. take no wings. Damn, well, I would not. Dude, <laughs> Jenny, what the fuck, dog? They suck. Oh, what, are you a nugs person like me, or like what's going on there? No, okay, a, a bonus wing is a chicken nugget, which is fine, but you should call it what it is. No, yeah. Chicken nugget. What's chicken the nugget. difference? What's the difference? The difference is that chicken nuggets are made of like a ground chicken or chicken bits ground together. The chicken tenders are just cutting the breast up, so you they still have the lines. Okay, but a wing, a boneless wing is still a chicken nugget. No! Uh oh. Uh oh. It's chilling, it's chilling. <laughs> it's fine, everything is fine. Good job, Rock's the... really hard. Rock's doing the deeps. Yep. Mara, can you put on the adjectives? Oh, crap. And the uh, time thing down. The time thing. 
don't think objectives. I mean, do I have the objective button on there, Brian? Yeah. I would love to order some chicken nuggets right now. I think I'll get some chicken nuggets. <laughs> uh, for me, lately, it's been the spicy chicken nuggets from Wendy's. Some I want. Got spicy nuggets. I want wing stops, lemon pepper wings. Hell yeah. Extra lemon crispy. Pepper. Lemon. Oh no, there's the gang from Sofa. And the lemon pepper and Louisiana for me. Yeah, Louisiana rub. It's my new favorite. Dude, Louis has been the kids. best. Oh, she's fine. Sort of. Also that she's not fine, but she's alive. Bit, really Dude, I can't believe you remember that. I don't remember. Dude, that was for like a... Time. It was really good. We yeah, ate that like two or three times. <laughs> a week? I think it was in a very <laughs> short amount of a time. <laughs> Oh, Ash gets caught. Mm -hmm. Wow. Dude, that, oh. nope. that was a really good move. Oh, no, it's not. Wow. Wow. Because mm -hmm. that gang oh, blew all their summoners earlier. Thank you, jungler. Yeah, very fortunate. Oh, Muffin here. Taking, taking CS, what the heck? I think no. he only took the tank because uh, Leona blocked it. <laughs> It's not taking CS, it's helping them shove. Can't victimize, can't victimize your jungler for helping you get lane prior and shoving so you get a good reset. What are you talking about? Just for you, next time I jungle for you, I'm gonna go in, gank for you, and then only last it. Huh. Oh, yeah. I don't know, next time I jungle for you, I'm not even gonna gank. I'm just gonna do <laughs> all your creeps. That's what you do. Just, anyway. just, just come in and just say the games and come out like it's a fucking cam. <laughs> I can't respawn faster than any of the other temple camps, so. Fucking genius. Look, because because their jungler did that, look where the wave comes back when they get the reset off. Yep. If the bot lane does the right thing, the bot lane, I mean, they can freeze right now. They can freeze for quite yeah. a while. Instead, he's gonna be like Rocket Scoper. Well, let's see. Did he go rocket go bear? No, look. No. He's going in the wave. He's thinning it a little bit. As long as you're about four minions up, you can just hold the freeze. They are. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. So Johnny didn't even get an assist. assist though, I guess. Does he win without the sense support? I mean, she didn't get an assist. No. She's yeah, just here for moral support. Like all of oh, us. See, look, and the, this this pathing towards bot is really smart by Zach. Flash for it. Oh, Aww. and he can't get in range, and now it's real awkward. Oh, TP goes through. He's six, but oh, zero HP. No, nope, that's a suicide. That's not good. Oh, if only Orn still had Orn. Can't get a little, any more than that, but okay, but that TP from Orn was obviously pretty unnecessary, and it's actually really punishing. Look at his wave in the top side. He's losing this yeah. entire wave. He's just smashing into his tower. Feels pretty bad. They need to take the dragon. Oh, they definitely yeah. will. You don't need Orn here to do this. Yeah, send Orn back. <laughs> put, put him back. Oh, they're trading for the Rift Herald, which is probably the right call. But I mean, now that Mayan doesn't have Smite, I wonder if it's actually contestable. Or not Smite. You're ult. going for it. I wonder if it's yeah, contestable because Mayan doesn't have ult. Doesn't no. look like it is. Well, they might be able to build. I don't think so. Both of us people can go over the wall. Yes, to wait for his ult, right? Yeah, it's almost there. <laughs> oh, and another kill on the bot side. And Lil Muffin doing a lot of work now. After the first... See, that first initial reset gave them perfect wave position for Lil Muffin to play off of. And he came back, and he came back again. Just good movement from Lil Muffin. Oh, oh, nice ult. Oh, good by him. Oh, oh, he's not dead. Oh! Oh, he's gone. Oh, nice. Good combo. Did they just turn around? Oh, the Ash ult. Yeah. Gonna take at least one. Maybe two. Nope. Oh, Zach gets out. Right. 
Oh, no, they put it that I don't care. I mean, pretty worth it, though. The wave crashed into the tower. Ash is going to lo lose that wave, too. Jinx is going to get a pretty good reset. And, I mean, Jinx is 3 0. It's pretty dire. First item, I think? Or no? Nope, never mind. No, not enough money. He's going for IE, so it's pretty big. Good stun from Wired. Get a good trade combo off. But, yeah, I mean. For all of that money that is now funneled onto Jinx, like obviously that's a great thing, but uh, AR on the other hand is thinking, wait, at least like it's on Jinx. To be honest, like there's a little bit of a plus side there because they have a Malphite, they have a, 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 a Shivana that's gonna dive you. Like, kind of, they're kind of okay with that because oh. they already have a cop. Go oh. for it. Oh, and Shivana gets straight solo killed. Orox Frostar answering back. Shivana has no TP, but I don't think Orox can shove hard enough, so he's gonna take the reset here and leave the wave in the middle. Alright. Little muffin. Oh. Hit him by Sopa. Oh, he's oh, Ash. oh. Uh, There's his passive gone. Wired just uh, dies, pulls the Jensen. Uh -oh. That was really uh, awkward. Yeah. Oh, nice arrow, but nice no. Arrow. Ooh, gets him in the. Uh, he started dashing actually. You saw so gets him in the dash animation. I mean overall. Kind of weird deaths, honestly, from the mid jungle there. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not really sure that had to happen. I think Little Muffin could have just jumped out. For the fun of it. Yeah. Um, but I mean, on the bright side for Deep Dive, like those skills went on to Sejuani. Um, does it really matter that much? <laughs> I don't know. Like the Jinx is good to shoot through the Sejuani. I mean, she has like a uh, Berk treads anyway, so like. You know, could be worse. Those kills could have gone into Malphite, which would have given Malphite more objective power to like actually just one shot the Jinx. Um, so, eh, could be worse. So for solo kills and all, like the end result top lane is Orox is way down in CS. Oh, and following could pull on him, maybe even like do a pretty big chunk here. Nope, decides not to do it. Gonna take the small trade, let the wave come into him. And Orox's wave is in a really weird position now. But Lil Muffin kind of everywhere. No way they're gonna kill him with Shivana ult up, but they get the ult off, which is really nice. Wired is here now. Oh! He get the stun! Damn. Six stun, and that should be a dead Shivana. Given over onto Orn. Not too bad. Wait, is her rift about to expire? It expired while she was dead. Oh, oh, that shit. is yeah. awkward. Big awk. Oh, but the return on the bot side. Can't get much better than this. Yep. Oh. Yes. Yeah, wow, he Saiton actually just walks out. The yeah, other, a little too tanky with down. W running. You know that's coming when they send everybody top like oh, that. Oh yeah, for sure. Should be expected. But... Uh, the reality is they only get one kill. They don't even get a plate. Alki backs off before the plate goes down. They can't even take the dragon because it hasn't spawned. So it's just kind of a kill for kill. And some plates went down on the top side too. So probably positive for deep dive overall. Ooh, good combo. Arx is um, really good form on this uh, Orn right now. Yeah, but he's still behind like quite heavily in CS. Um, Which is a pretty big deal here. This Shivana is still going to be able to scale up. It's not like you made it useless. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sky's on my uh -huh. Good flash because Malphite, you knew Malphite didn't have ult to follow. So all that attention that went on to the Leona there was attention that wasn't going on to the Inferno drag. Or not Infernal Drag, but Ocean Drag. Now that Infernal Soul is up, that's actually pretty dangerous for this team. Like, Infernal, actually, Infernal Drag on both teams is really nice because Infernal Drag on a team that's gonna dive means that they could be that over that damage threshold to like burst the Jinx. So, you know, if you do get Infernal Drags and then Infernal Soul on AR, they can have the damage on Shivana and Malphite to go backline and just one shot the Jinx before she can really respond. 
But, I mean, honestly, that might be the case anyway without Infernal Drag, depending on how well Jinx plays and how, like, uh, how in the game Malphite and, uh, what's his name, Shivana both are. That said, Infernal Drag and Infernal Soul on Deep Dive's team is pretty obnoxious. Jinx can apply from forever distance. Um, it's good on There's Echo Sopa watching open. Little Muffin come in. There's a whole bunch of people committed to this bot over here. And there's no dragon. What they think of the Rift Herald? Flash is a little early, he's probably just dead, yep. Couldn't even get the full or all off. Follow in, won't die here, <laughs> not sure. It's actually gonna turn. Mm -hmm. Can't kill him though. Moth fight's posturing, but wired up, follows up, make sure he doesn't go any further. The gold is almost exactly even. Has this Malphite not backed in a while or something? He has 1000. He could back for Ludens here. He has to draw me behind him. He has him. Back since roaming down bot. I don't think there's going to be a cluster down there. But yeah, I mean... Have... Well, you definitely could take it back for Ludens here. He's gonna get this wave in on the cannon wave, he'll back on this cannon wave, so. Not too bad. His Echo needs it back too. He'll get Sork Boots plus. Does he have money for anything else? Nah, yeah, just basically Sork Boots and Pinks. Oh, he got one in a stopwatch instead. That's kind of. Yeah, there we go. Sork Boots and Pinks. Ash is opting. Okay, this is really skeptic. I'm really skeptical of this personally. But Ash is actually opting to get Essence Reaver. So she's gonna go the Essence Reaver, i.e. Oh! Rabbit Fire build. Let's see what happens here. Oh, he's very dead. Goodbye, Jack Limestone. Little Muffin here for the counting ink, but it's not enough, and he's gonna go down for it. Surely. No. This guy gets wamboed there. That Glimestone had to flash the Ash Arrow coming in. Once the Ash Arrow connected, everything else is guaranteed to connect. There's no out after that. And now that your bot site's broken open, it will be a How difficult game to stop them from starting to stack up dragons. One of them is spawning pretty quickly, 15 seconds. Yeah. And Jack Limestone is coming back from base. Is this a dragon that you would contest? Yeah, I think you have to, right? Because you well, can't Orox is get soloing out of the Rift Herald. Oh, never mind. And with Orox soloing the Rift Herald, you'd probably be thinking, hey, we're gonna give this dragon. And it looks like that's what they're gonna do. But Jack Limestone is pushed down a pretty far spot with them clearly on the dragon. They're gonna take it. Limestone tries to ult it. It's not too much else doing. They're gonna take the reset. Whiff on the Zenith Blade means no dead Shivana. I'm sure the Shivana probably would have lived anyway. 
Oh, little muffin. Oh, the ult. Oh, Wired dies without ulting at all, and that's the second time he's died with his ult still up. It's pretty unfortunate. Oh, and this Shivana is getting big. We do, uh, for the viewer in chat, Peps02, we also do uh, like a weekly recap show of games uh, that in the week this just like happened, I guess. What? Yeah, we have like an analyst desk kind of segment every Sunday. Uh, oh, a little muffin here. The counter game. Oh, Baron Allen's actually taking tower. Oh, almost dies to the Jinx rocket but lives. Sopa goes down, Barry Allen both goes down. Wait, is this a Baron opportunity? You have a Jinx that's really big, and you have a lot of tanks. This should be a Baron opportunity. Should be able to burn it down quick. Yeah, this should be free. And they're gonna take that opportunity. And this could be a game changer. There's really no answer they have. There's no jungler up. It's gonna be, have to be Mei and trying to fight them. But they're gonna try to fight him outside of the pit. Skystone's doing a good job keeping him out, but you know. These two do a lot of bursts into a clump. Jack Limestone gets hit, but doesn't go down. Yep, yeah, Limestone oh. not dying means everybody else is going to fall here, Ooh. and they're going to turn back on the Jack Baron. Nope, they're going to audible. But those two kills are really big, especially since they went on to Jack Limestone. At least one of them did. And this is time for them to push mid with the Rift. I'm just saying, old Tiamat Shrevana gets a pen up there. <laughs> Hell, maybe AP Shivana gets the pen out there. <laughs> wow! And they're chain killing them. They decide to confront them in a 3v5 with Harold going. They're too far out of tower, and it's gonna be another person dead, Nauki. Another kill on the Limestone. Limestone's looking real fed this game. Now you just threaten Baron again. We yeah. saw that uh, Jack Limestone could get really big, but his team can't, like, get them up to where they need to be. What do they need to do to ensure that the Jinx really just gets away with the game? I mean, especially versus a team like Acid Rabbit. To be honest, Against Melfad, Chivana, Jinx gotta take care of herself. Yeah, right? Like, it's on her. I mean, what are you gonna, like, are you gonna stun the Malphite in midair? You can't. So, like, I mean, it's gotta be Jinx being really intelligent with her flashes. A, lar a large reason why, like, Malphite isn't seen, like, that often in, like, high-level play, pro play, is because it's pretty predictable. Like, at a, at a certain level, you should be able to flash, like, almost every Malphite ult. You see it coming, like, they have to get out of vision, like, good flank plays, you know? And, like, it is playing pro because, like, pros are pretty good at, like, getting those, like, out of vision big flank plays, right? Um, but if you're not able to do that and you're running at her, like, Jinx should be able to take care of herself, flash Malphite ults, and get out of the way. Um, there's no real other threat on Jinx in fights in a front to back. It's Shivana and Malphite. The Shivana's AD, and like I guess if there's a world where she ults you and you're Jack Limestone and you just get dunked by Shivana ult and she sits on you, like yeah, in that scenario, Leona should be able to try to peel for you. Um, but it's mostly the Malphite ult that's like the main threat, and I think like Jack Limestone should be able to be like safe-ish from a Malphite if he has his flash up. If he doesn't have his flash up, it's a window where that team shouldn't be fighting. Flash ult. But it's not enough because he doesn't combo with anybody and Limestone's actually alive. He gets stunned by Sejuani and dies though. And this Shivana is gonna be untouched this fight though. How did they actually burn them? How did they burn the Shivana with Jinx dead? <coughs> and it's a uh, clean yeah. sweep. Only one down. And that was one of those windows. When Limestone doesn't have Flash, you can't really posture for these things. When Malphite Flash ults your AD carry, like, what are you supposed to do about it? 
And like when we were looking at draft, we were thinking, oh, this is an interesting comp, but like you know, it has a clear vision, which is like dive limestone. And limestone doesn't have much in the way of like peel or anything like that. Like he doesn't have like the Lulu that they have. And if there's a world where he has no flash and they just go on you, I mean, that's that. Oh, the TP. Coming in. It's from Wired, and it's gonna be too little, too late. They're gonna try to box them in, but Malphi has ult again. It's gonna be hard to find anybody, and that TP is just gonna be getting him on the map a little faster, but nothing else. The boon for deep dive is this next fight Jack Limestone should have flash. And if they play it well enough, I mean the dude is three and a half items. He's very strong. Limestone doesn't yet have flash. Now if I had to ult away, and that's a big opportunity space for them. This Ornhorn can get a lot of people. Oh. And a lot of people should be dropping here. That's Alki to start the snowball off. Limestone to work on Shivana. It's taking a while. The death dance makes Shivana really difficult to kill. And she's actually just walking into Limestone's face. And they just can't burn her. She's really big. Wow. And what a, a fight that looked pretty good. With the ADC dropping really early. And the Malphite dropping. Like we were losing his ult. Um, actually doesn't look that great because the Shavana is just unkillable right now. Death Dead Shavana still like couldn't get burned through by this Jinx. Like Jinx kept free hitting her, but it just wasn't enough. And part of it is because like there aren't real damage threats outside of Jinx onto that Shavana. Like that Echo does nothing to Shavana with the the current build that Shavana is rocking. I'm just saying. Do y'all have a moment? Talk about our Lord and Savior. Healing reduction. Yeah, well there it is. Your Lord and Savior in the flesh on Jinx. Was Bramblefuss in that fight or no? Oh god. I don't think Orn really got to play. Oh no. <laughs> He's fine. And actually Mayan yeah. dies for it. Yeah. <coughs> it gets a shutdown. No ult. Wait, does that let them get the dragon? Dragon's in two minutes, so no. It's just gonna get them. It's gonna get them time to build wave pressure, but but the inhib down is gonna be hard. This is gonna get them setup time, but again, limestone's flash is actually down now. Yeah, it's gonna be down for this dragon fight. Yeah, could be a hard scenario. <laughs> the other timer in this game is when does Echo get big enough to where Malphite and Shyvana can't afford to hold off using their shit for drinks? Um, the real answer is forever from now. The Echo is not very farmed right now. 149 CS at 28 minutes means you haven't gotten in the game and honestly the target access and like the the target you're looking for is gonna be like Ash. I mean, I guess you could be trying to hit Shivana, but it's not gonna do much with your current build. Like, it's just not he. Echo is just not really a pivotal member in this game right now. And like, you know, it, it's a pretty hard thing when like your Jinx that was sitting on three and a half items is not able to kill a Shibana that built CDR boots, Death Dance, and Wits End. No Tavi. He didn't have that Bramble yet. Like, that's oh. a feel bad. Oh, and there he goes. Way far up. His Orn wasn't even there. And it's going to be, <laughs> I mean, now the fight's over. You run. Everybody run. Run for the hills. And three infernal dragons. 
just makes it even more of a nightmarish situation for Jinx. Well, it's not Sol, so they could at least, in theory, get a couple Infernals of their own to match. Yep. Siobhan is actually flame horizon the Orin now. Way ahead. Look at the item differential. Oh, uh, Lil Muffin is gonna get passive proc at least. Possibly just killed through the passive. Oh! Siobhan, limestone in the corner, but he's. Man actually can't really see him right now, but once he does, he's gonna look for it. Nobody goes down except for Lil Muffin. <laughs> Jack Lemstone was like free hitting the entire time and just nothing. Got maybe half health off of Shivana. When normally if you had a tankier or squishier team, they would blow the heck up. But that should allow them to take this in hit as well. Oh, Limestone getting almost one shot there, but actually turns around, kills me and oh the arrow! Man trades himself for an inhib tower. So now I don't AD carry. Will the finished crit build eventually punch through the Shyvana, or is this like a situation where you see the rare Bork Jinx? No, the finished crit build will eventually like. I mean, like he's pretty close to finished crit build. Now he just needs to finish his uh, last whisper item. But like, I mean, it does a decent amount of damage, but. It's gonna be pretty difficult when you're getting one shot at the start of a fight. Or at least like close to one shot. Limestone deleted. And that's gonna be GG probably. No way they can they don't have any damage for anybody else. And limestone dies with flash up and heal up and it's just uh I mean, it's a one third team. And it's gonna be game over here as they shove straight down. Unless Wired can pull something miraculous. No reason they end, right? Wired flashing the sad B. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty over. Um, Limestone's up in like 9. I doubt Wired can hold the fort. He didn't have ult, so that was all he could really do there. And Limestone's up, but yeah, it's. It's a little bit over. That's all she wrote. And we. It was kind of a one threat composition, like they're prone to do. Um, yeah, just like. Couldn't really cut them down. I mean, there's not really much you could have changed about Limestone's build to make this better, too. Like, the Stormraiser is pretty normal on Limestone. It might have actually, like, maybe if you went, like, I don't know, six item, you would have chewed them through. But with one threat, though, it wasn't really anything doing. And if you look at the damage chart, Shivana actually just pumped out so much damage.
Yep. Yeah. Swap to damage. Uh, swap to damage. Oh yeah, my bad. I keep forgetting that's not automatic. I really don't have to, but right now it's no, just that's sitting fine. on the thing. I did. It. Oh, I put up the overlay. No, oh, overlay still up. Yep. Here you go. And the damage charts. Shivana with a whopping thirty-seven thousand in thirty-three minutes. Ooh. Busting past the one K barrier. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, follow the wind was like um, a pretty pivotal part of this game. Honestly, the entire top side was really pivotal. This game. Sopa um, outpathing Lil Muffin in the early game, and then. Like, man, just constantly being a nuisance for Jack Limestone and eventually having the strength to just one-shot him by himself. GG. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Shane. It's time for the teeth stream.